Hey, what is up guys? It is I, Piece of Geekish, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to get better in Counter-Strike Local Offensive. And by getting better is accuracy-wise. Now, I have made a video about this before, but I guess I could make a well-explanatory one, a self-explanatory one, and this one is improvised. And today, alright, so basically, um... I'm going to be going over accuracy, and the reason for that is because when I play competitive, I've seen a lot of people freak out, and they spray their guns, and they end up only getting one hit registered. And this has happened to me, this has happened to many people, and I just have the solution to it. Now, keep in mind, um, in competitive, you're running in a 64 tick Valve server, and 64 tick is, once again, it's not a very decent, it's not a very good server. Uh, it's, you know, it's an alright server, but it's not the best. Reason for this is because uh, reason for Valve that can't run 128 tick servers is because they're broke ass. Um, they don't have enough money, and um, you know, since people stopped buying get stopped buying Counter Strike Global Offensive, they need some sort of a way to kind of um, earn some funds, if you would say so, to uh, hold up all the server bandwidth and all that bullshit. But um, skipping to that, so. Today I would like to help you guys out here, and so first what you go is just press um, play, go offline with bots, and just go to the workshop community server. And um, the, the map that you want to find is uh, Training in CSGO. Now I had this map for a long time now, okay? and sometimes I use this map to practice my little accuracy, um, accuracy wise and reaction time way before competitive map, competitive matchmaking, I'm sorry. Uh, but I do, I do this seldomly now because I feel kind of pumped sometimes and making a mistake of playing with scrub teammates. And I know random random matchmaking can be a gamble sometimes, and I really hate it sometimes, but uh, you better hope you're a beast player unless you, you're you not going to get a better match. And uh, bleh, skip all that gibberish talk, let us continue. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to press view workshop and you type in training underscore aim underscore csgo and the producer that made this map is a Katus or steam name Skyla. Okay, so that one you might want to download and this is the legit one. So this one works and once you download it or subscribe to it, you just press go. And uh, the modes, that doesn't really matter, I recommend playing casual because it is more better. No bots, etc., etc., and you just launch the game. All right now, to, I'm gonna run through the map course and uh, hop now, but uh, that's because people have been getting trouble to spawn them, and uh, that's a cool. F and it has something to do with developers console. That's one thing. And uh, yada yada yada. Let's get this over with. Uh... Okay, are you ready? Alright, let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna join CT. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is that you wanna type in your developer's console, which is the um, squiggly sign, or uh, kind of like ex uh, mathematical way, it's approximate. The, the approximate sign, or the sign next, the squiggly sign next to your number one button. Press that and you'll open up the developer's console. Now, if you doesn't have, if you don't have it enabled, please go to your help options, game settings, find your developer's console. Where was it? Yeah. Up. Oh, enable developer's console. Squiggly. And I'm enable it to yes. Press it. SV cheats one. And then you can press no clip. Press uh, N to no clip. Actually, bind it N. But uh, go to developer's console. Just type in no clip and you're in. I just, I just bind mine on to end so it's easier for me, I don't have to go on the console so many times. And so this is the map, and uh, I'm currently recording like 80 FPS right now, but when I start shooting it'll start to drop down and I do not perform at the best. Alright, so this is the, um, the, the modes and uh, all its characteristics for the target that you're shooting, all its abilities, its statistics, whatever, and these are the weapons, which is kind of self-explanatory. Now, it's all categorized in order, pistols, sub submachine guns, rifles, shotguns, and machine guns, which, con which kind of brings me back to uh, Counter-Strike counter Source, Counter-Strike 1.6, 1.4, no, I don't think I played 1.4. Condition Zero, that's, that's the game. 
And uh, yes, you can simply press E to equip the gun. Yeah, but um, in originally the guns will drop, so you have to drop your current weapon to get the other weapon. And um, I would choose the Deagle, which is my my favorite. What I say, my favorite pistol to use at some point. And uh, the pra and uh, these are all your list of weapons, and so you can choose what weapon you want to use. At this point, I'm going to use the M4A4. Uh, I don't see the M4A1 here, which I don't get, uh, unless you have to go to your, like, inventory and then M4A1. But, enough chit-chat, let us continue. Alright, so, the size of the target I don't think you want to mess around with, unless you really want to go hardcore and set up your um, target as head. But, uh, the, the, the default setting is 12R, which, I guess, the R stands for, I don't know. <laughs> Um, so, all I know is that the head is the smallest, and let me demonstrate to you guys what the head looks like. So that's the head, and that is really small, and uh, you also have, um, now you may, you guys may notice this, but the targets pop out and pop up, it's kind of like a whack-a-mole. So, what you're basically doing is playing whack-a-mole in CS, except it gets you better coordination and your accuracy improves. But you have to be real fast. But in this whack-a-mole game, you can adjust on the delay and the amount. And you get to also adjust the duration of the target. Now you guys may be asking what this bullshit is. Static, linear, tar, rot, 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 rotating tar, whatever. Um, if you're going for classic um, fast aiming, which is this target popping up, popping out, popping up, popping out. Then you might want to forget these. You want to scratch that, 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 that. Just focus on the top one. And so usually for some beginners I would start for infinite time because so you'll get the feel of it. Um and I would recommend getting to about eight Rs or twelve Rs. Twelve R is the default, which is kind of big out. Let me show you guys what twelve R looks like. Which is just a big circle. And uh but my recommendation is about eight. it was about five or eight it's a decent size if you think about it but i usually play with 12 r which is kind of my favorite because you have more of the space in here and guys keep in mind the bullets will hit the sides and you will be like what i saw the bullet going in why doesn't it break and you know that's keep that's just how it rolls all right 64 tick no matter what it doesn't care okay, okay it doesn't matter um and this will happen in competitive as well when you hit something definitely and it doesn't break or it doesn't give you a headshot or it doesn't register a hit, it will happen to you. Now I'm sorry if this video is taking a long time but I'm trying to get through thoroughly on what you guys are going to have to do. Alright, so the first thing you want to next do is change your color. I personally like pink since I'm more of a pinky man and uh, I will leave the static duration to infinite for beginners and the delay on when it's going to like pop up the next red circle pink circle now usually if you guys are like freaking god monsters and you guys want to be like super fast like boom, 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 and all that stuff then press zero but otherwise leave it to 0.75 or 0.5 that's a very good decent time to anticipate because if you anticipate it for too long you might miss it if you anticipate it for too short you are just gonna get screwed all right shot to kill pretty ex self-explanatory um, these, I wouldn't recommend messing with them yet, but I will tell you what they are. Reflex training is obviously reflex. Burst training is your, you know, burst. And then fast aiming, yeah, you get the point. But if you guys want moving targets, then I would probably say about linear or rotating. Actually, no. If you guys like moving targets, press linear, but for now, let's do the static one. Alright, so enough chit-chat. Let us proceed to the training section. Alright, so I want to make sure it's 12R because I want to be recording what recording I am right now about sometimes it drops down my FPS rate when I record which I kind of hate so these are different levels you might ask and what do these level represents the um, the distance that you are from the target now I personally like to start off level 2 or level 3 but if you guys are beginners then I would say level 1 is the good place to start so I would start level 1 just to see you guys the feel of it see one target there pop it you see one target there pop it you see one target there pop it See what I get there. Self-explanatory, right? And I recommend doing about two, three shots first because that's the best efficient way to kill. 
I'm sorry if I'm not doing in my best right now because I'm really having to just hold on real quick. Just gotta reload. I know. Or oh, oh actually to, to solve this problem you can go in the um consoles and type in SV unlimited ammo. Yeah, it's SV unlimited ammo. Infinite ammo I mean. And uh, in the end of the video, I'm gonna show a proper like me training video. And so that's like a feel of it for level one. Now, obviously, I can't do it in my full performance because you guys can probably tell that I'm recording, and recording my PC doesn't um, uh, record always in like 60, 80, 120 FPS, which kind of sucks to be honest with you. All right, so the next thing we want to do after you train, you want to keep training, select different weapons that you need to get better in. Now, I personally prefer to use the same weapon over and over for a few times, so just so you get the feel of what it's like. And uh, the motto there says, train hard, go pro, which I agree to. And uh, let's try it with the deagle for level one. Oh, wait, before that, I gotta go SV infinite ammo. That would be a good command. And you guys may notice that I'm strafing in this video because I would like, I've always liked to strafe during a um, training, which kind of gives you a little bit of challenge because you have to recover and you'll have to shoot at the same time. So once you recover, you immediately shoot. But usually I do short strafing or stutter stepping. But at this point, I can't stutter step that much because of my, um, not lack of mobility, but the FPS rate right now is screwing me up. That was a fail. Oh, you see, that was that was the kind of problem that you will face in competitive. You hit it, but you miss it. I guess that kind of slid off to the side, but I doubt it. I hit the corner right there, yet it didn't register. Hitboxes, man. Hitboxes. Focus on them hitboxes. And that is all, ladies and gentlemen. That was the static training, and I want to show you guys um, the linear training real quick. Um, no, that's... Oh, by the way, these are all... Untick, you can tick multiple of these, but don't tick multiple of them. That's just chaotic. Just tick linear. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. See, it looks cool, doesn't it? It's good. And, you know, actually, that comes into mind. I've been seeing this problem a lot, where oppers hesitate to take shots, and they die. The reason for that is that they're not leading their target. Okay, so... If you guys here play War Thunder, and the logical explanation to play shooting a plane down is to lead their target. That's basically what an opera must do. They must lead a target by a few centimeters or a few inches, and then you fire. But when you fire, you have to stay still. And you know, when you fire, you have to go like this. To do that. Don't go like this. That's just gonna make you miss. When you fire, when you're, when you're sure that you wanna shoot, stop your mouse and immediately shoot. But you gotta have good timing for that. Alright, and so linear target duration is infinite, I would say, for beginners. And speed is, um... Okay, now you guys may be thinking, well, what the heck is this? Speed 150, 250, 200. And I will explain that right now. Alright, so forget about God and random. Now, random is just utterly chaotic. Because it does give you God. But, um... The thing that I want to show you guys is that... Okay, so I guess if you guys play Counter-Strike long enough um, or watch some um, videos about how running works and you have the debug consoles on, um, the 250 and the 150 thing is your running speed. And so 150 is walking. And I will match that up. Really. It's 150, right? And I will show you guys right now. I want to get rid of this target first. That's not helping. I need a vertical. I need a horizontal target. I need a horizontal. See? This is walking speed right here. 150 is kind of like walking speed, except it's a little faster. And uh, I guess you can... I think, And uh, that's it. Yeah, that's walking speed, basically, except it's a little faster. And uh, 200 is about the um, the speed of running within the Gev, as I will show you. And that's all. And 250, actually, no. 
200 is not running speed of a Negev, I am sorry. 200 speed is like, um, with the, I guess a Deagle is 215, so it's kind of like the Deagle, except the Deagle is a little faster than um, 200. And, uh, what weapon can you run with 200? I'm not sure. You guys, um, if you guys, I recommend you guys to Hatton Games. He will give you all the information that you need to know, so... I can, all I can tell you is that the, running with the Desert Eagle will cause you 215, which means this is the kind of the, um, the speed, except it's, the Eagle is a little faster. So, you know, that's about pistol speed, and this is knife speed, guys. 250 is running with a knife, as I will demonstrate. No, I don't want a vertical... So, I wish you can enable, disable this, alright. See? As I'm demonstrating, 250 is a knife speed. Alright, enough of that. So I guess you guys understand the linear target. But the rotating target is the one that you do not want to start messing with. Um, I don't really... I, I wouldn't really recommend this if you look at it. It's just swirly-swirly, you know? It's just going in a circle. That's all it's doing. But I guess it's kind of fun to mess with. Anyways, I guess I've trained you guys enough. And uh, I will now show you guys a clip of an actual training scene, maybe... Actually, I will. I'm actually going to make that in a separate video. Um, so this is just the basics on how to operate the map and how you get better at it. And guys, um, what I recommend is doing um, a few tries and a few runs. Because if you don't succeed the first run of getting like um, your shots on target, it'll actually tell you um, how many shots you failed, how many shots got on target. And uh, this has been Peace Geekish, signing off.